Hey guys, welcome to CR and Designers. This is Chetan, and in this tutorial, we are going to create a kettlebell, which is the gym equipment. This tutorial will help you to understand how to use the slice operation on a rounded surface. So, if you are new on this YouTube channel, then don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. You can watch our previous Blender tutorials; you will get a lot of knowledge. And now, let's get started. To make the kettlebell, we will start with the rounded cube. So shift A and then add a rounded cube and you can see different operator presets are there. And we need to use the chord sphere which is the operator preset. Okay, so use that operator preset and you will find this option if your extra mesh add-on should be on. So just turn on that extra mesh add-on, add mesh add-on. Yeah, you need to turn on that add-on so you will get the rounded cube. Hence chord sphere. Then you need to add a cube at there and this cube will help us to create the slice which you can see and then go to the front view and now you need to adjust the scale of the cube the adjusting the scale is very important and this thing can reduce your efforts so that's why you need to adjust the scale in a proper way so you will get the chord based topology you won't get the triangle so that's i'm showing here so shift d to duplicate it and you can see i have duplicated this and here I will adjust the random scale and let's see the result after using the boolean operation which is different. So select the cube, select the chords base sphere and use the boolean operation you can use the difference or slice. I will use the slice here and same thing here also use the boolean operation slice. And now you can see we got the same slice cut at there but there is a major difference. So if I take it a little bit away from this you can see all chords are there, there are not triangles. There is one end gone which is that slice cut which we can manage but there are chords and if I move this little bit away then you can see here are triangles which will give you irritation. So that's why you need to adjust the size of the cutting objects, cutter objects means like skew is very important. So you can reduce your efforts and avoid this kind of triangles so you can easily create a decent looking design on your model. So I don't want a slice from all sides, I just want a slice from the front and bottom sides. So that's why go to the edit mode of the cube and now you can select the words and you can move them and you can avoid that slice. So you can select these faces and then move it along the z-axis, move this along the x-axis, move this along the x-axis and move this along the y-axis. Simple thing you need to do here. And then select the cube then select the chord sphere and use the slice operation so simple thing and then you can delete that slice cut and now you can see we got a chord base topology at there and one end gone is there so select this face and then select this face and then press i for the insert operation and you can easily create the chord base topology but you can see we are facing the little bit of difficulty with the insert, insert operation because there are double words so you can see if I move this word like this, there are double words. So we need to merge this word. So select everything, press M and merge by distance. So double words will get merged. And we can use the insert operation easily. So select this face, select this face and press I for the insert operation. And use insert operation one more time just to add one more loop at there. And easily you can create the chord based topology at there. So select these words, right click and then connect vertex path. Select the words, right click and then connect vertex path. In this way you can create easily the chord based topology. So now you can see we got a decent topology on the model and now we need to create a next design which is the handle design. So take it little bit up on the surface and let's start to create a second part of this model which is the handle creating the handle if i select the faces and i try to create the handle i will get a weird result so use the loop tool and circle so you will get this kind of stuff you will mess up that topology because there is not enough topo geo on the model so that's why what we need to do we need to subdivide it so add a solidify modifier and you need to apply that modifier with the one viewport level so we will get more geo on the model and we can create the next details means next design which is the handle design so just apply that modifier with the one viewport level and now you need to select the faces and selecting the faces is also important you should select the faces in a square manner 
means you don't need to select in a large number of spaces just select the spaces in a square manner and they will look like a square those chords will look like a square so in this way you need to select the faces okay and then you need to use the loop tool and then circle so you can create a circular design so press i for the insert operation just to add one loop at there and now make sure your transform orientation should be normal and then extrude it along the z axis and adjust the size and now you need to use the transform orientation tools like a move rotate and scale tool and you can create that handle design so here i have scaled down it along the z axis and i have given the value zero so i can make it flat so press i for the insert operation and then one more time extrude it and move it along the z axis And now you can select these faces and you can delete these faces because we don't need these faces. We will take the symmetry. So just go to the edit mode, select everything and make sure the global should be on, transform orientation global should be on and then mesh and then symmetrize. So and choose the proper axis for the symmetry so you will get the same design to the another side. And then select this edge loops, right click and then breach edge loop. And then you can add enough uh, loop cuts at there so you will get more decent look and then add a loop cuts like this which will support the and maintain the form of the model so that's why you need to add the loop cuts and just try to create a little bit of a design at there so try to create that natural design at there if you want to make it more realistic then you can take this uh, model to the zbrush and you can add more details on the model then you need to add the subdivision surface modifier and increase its count up to 2 and then shear smooth it and take the symmetry select everything mesh and then symmetrize and you can see it's look decent easily we have created that design with the right topological methods and we have tried to maintain the core based topology on the model so we will get a decent looking shading on the model so you can see the topology of the model and you can see that uh, those slices which we have created on the model you can see this kind of topology which we have created so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel bye bye so in the next video take care